The radium worked fine until his jaw came off. Hi, my name is Charles, and today... <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's a Acrello! I posted a TikTok basically talking about this guy whose jaw fell off. Yeah, this guy. So this is Eben Byers. He was an amateur golfer. He won uh, a championship in amateur golf, getting ready to go pro. And he was a chairman in his dad's business. So bro had his life pretty much cut out for him. One day, Mr. Byers hurt his arm. Now, it never states how Byers hurt his arm. It just says that he did. He might have hurt it when he was golfing. He might have just failed and hurt his arm. All I know is that his arm was broke. So Byers decided to go to the doctor. Now, back in the 18, the late 1800s, early 1900s, these people thought that radium was good for you. They would lay on radioactive sand to help their backs. They would brush their teeth with radioactive toothpaste. Terrible stuff. You guys may know about the radium girls, the girls who would like be painting like the dials that go in cars. They used to, it used to be painted with radium so it would glow and they used to like lick it to keep the ends sharp so they can continue painting. And eventually they got radium jaw, just like Mr. Byers, except his was a lot worse. Now, Mr. Byers went to the doctor and he was like, yo doc, I, uh, I need some help. My arm is broken. And then his doctor was like, I got you G, I got you G, don't worry. And he prescribed him a bottle of radium. No joke. He gave him this thing called Radiother. And Radiother was this bottle of radium mixed with distilled water. Now, because they thought that radium was good for you, uh, he told that him to drink that to fix his broken arm. They didn't think to give this boy a cast or nothing. They just told him to drink some radium. So he instructs buyers to drink one bottle a week. Buyers started taking it and he must have thought it was busting because he started consuming three bottles a day long after his arm had been healed. You're a fucking idiot. So boy was just downing three bottles of Radiather every single day. Do you see where I'm going with this story? Bro was downing radium by the guzzle, drinking it like a chug jug, like a slurp juice. Bro was drinking it like it was jug from Call of Duty Zombies. And he consumed three bottles a day for three years. And he thought it was helping him. And then one day he got pains everywhere, all over his body. He started feeling aches. He had aches in his shoulder, he had aches in his legs but he had a lot of pain in his jaw. Now you can imagine just consuming radium. By the time he stopped drinking it, they said that he had consumed 1,500 bottles of Radiather. These cost about $15 today. So bro was spending thousands of dollars every year on radium to drink. You're a fucking idiot. So him pouring it in his mouth consistently, you know his mouth isn't gonna be okay. So of course he gets radium jaw, just really bad case of radium jaw. And I don't know what Byers was doing. I don't know what was going on, what he was doing, but one day his jaw fell off. Did you really think I was gonna let you slide, bruh? Where the fuck are your teeth at? What do you even eat with those? How do you chew? It's not funny. It's not funny. His jaw literally fell off. Like, imagine you just chilling. You with your wife and kids. You're eating dinner. You go to take a bite and your jaw comes off of your face. Nah, nah, but his jaw did fall off. But it was because it decayed. It was decaying. All that time that it was aching, it was decaying. And eventually it decayed so much that his jaw came off. And when he went to the hospital, they said that most of his upper jaw and lower jaw had been removed. All he had was three teeth. So this dude had three teeth in the top, no lower jaw, no upper jaw. This dude didn't have a mouth. And they both look so guilty. Y'all cannot tell me that they don't have something going on. Come on. Tongue is gone. Your part of your throat is gone. You're consuming that radium's going down your throat. 
you can imagine what his stomach lining was like. Probably had cancer in his stomach, stomach cancer, throat cancer. Imagine uh, uh, the mouth cancer, and he had holes forming in his skull, and he had ab abscesses on his brain. So yeah, bro was screwed from the get go. I just want to know why he consumed three bottles a day. You shouldn't have drunk it at all. But he drunk three bottles a day when his doctor prescribed one a week. Now the kicker about this radiator, it was meant to cure all diseases. But it was made by a guy who only claimed to be a doctor. So this dude wasn't even a real doctor. He just claimed to be a doctor so he could make a quick buck. And everybody believed him because they thought he was a real doctor. So they bought the radiator. They said he sold over one million bottles. So bro is making, he made at least 15 million from selling radium, which is astounding, by the way. So that's where this picture comes from. Why did they, why did he let them take this picture of him? Bro, your jaw is gone. Imagine about going to spit some game at a female and your jaw just dropped. And he's just like, oh, you made my jaw drop. And he like puts it on. I just don't understand. Your jaw fell out, bro? Why are you letting people take pictures of you? Why are you leaving the house? I would never leave the house again. If my jaw came off, nobody would know and I'd hide in the corner of my bedroom. Nobody's knowing that my jaw is missing, no. I won't allow that. But yes, and then when they tried to sue the guy who made the radiator, they couldn't because Myers couldn't speak to testify. I mean, he had use of his hands. I don't know why he didn't just write. I just have so many questions. Is it hard now that you can't sip? You can't frown anymore, bro. You can't pout. You can't speak. I just have so many questions about this guy. Like, what his life was like during the time that his jaw fell off, you know? Did his wife leave him? How did his kids feel? But he ended up dying two years later after his jaw fell out and his... Uh, he had three times the lethal dose of radium in his system by the time he died, by the way. So they buried him in a lead coffin. And when they exhumed him in 1968, Bro's body was still highly radioactive. And it'll probably be there for centuries because the half-life of radium is 1,600 years. So Bro has a whole nother 1,600 years before it's even half as radioactive. Still gonna be radioactive. So before it's never radioactive, I say about 3,200 years or so. Yeah, that's the story of Even Byers and how his jaw fell out. Um, don't drink radiator, kids. But I just wanna, I just wanna know, was it bussing? Maybe I should buy some radiator. Ooh, they still sell that though? I'm gonna go buy some radium. Bye.